Hi all. In today's lesson, we are going to study about simple pendulum. The one which is shown in this video, this one we can call it as a simple pendulum. It's nothing, some mass which is hanged by a string and able to swing freely. So this is known as a simple pendulum. Mostly they use metal bob or iron bob instead of this ball but here I have taken a ball which is tied with a string and free to swing. Right. What is the use of the simple pendulum? Two quantities can be measured using this setup. One is length of the simple pendulum that is from where it tied to the half of this ball. Repeating, first quantity which can be measured using simple pendulum is length. Length means the point at which it tied to the half of this ball. Next one is time for one complete oscillation of this pendulum that is known as period of the pendulum. Period of the pendulum means it is a time taken by this pendulum for one complete oscillation or swing. So what is the use of these two quantities length and time for one complete oscillation? These two quantities will be substituted in one simple formula and to determine the acceleration due to gravity on earth value that is 9.8 meter per second square. Mainly for that purpose, they use this simple pendulum. Keep that things aside. In this video, mainly we will discuss what is mean by one complete oscillation of this pendulum and how to determine the time for one complete oscillation. That is the period of this pendulum. Right. Let's discuss about what is meant by one swing or one oscillation of this pendulum. To observe that oscillations, I have taken some point. This one is known as a uh, fiducial marker in physics related term. This marker is used to determine the oscillations more accurately as possible. When the pendulum reaches here, we can start our count. So for counting accurately, we use this fiducial marker or midpoint for this simple pendulum setup. Okay, right. What is meant by one oscillation. Still, there are so many confusions about one oscillation of a pendulum. As far as my knowledge, one oscillation is from center, it starts moving to the left, then it goes to right, then come back to its midpoint or center. This is one complete oscillation of a simple pendulum. Repeating, from center it starts left, right, then center. Or right, left, then center. So this is one complete oscillation. But nowadays students used to count in this way when it comes here one oscillation. So I suggest to follow this method, it is exam related concept. So better you can follow this method as a one complete oscillation. Right. How to determine the time for this one complete oscillation? Of course, with the help of a stopwatch. But for one complete oscillation, it will be very hard if we measure time simultaneously. So to make it more accurate and easier, we measure time for 20 oscillation and divide that time by 20. Then we can get time for one complete oscillation. Repeating, instead of finding 
one oscillation time we find time for 20 oscillations and divide that time by 20 we will get the accurate time for one complete oscillation or swing of this pendulum hope you are getting i am not going to measure the time right now but let's uh, have a demo for 10 oscillation how to count so here we go we are going to start when it comes here we will count so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this is the accurate method of finding time for 10 oscillation and divide the time by 10 you will get the accurate value for one oscillation you can repeat the experiment and find the average you will get the time for one complete oscillation that is the period of this pendulum hope you got something another thing is that 20 oscillation is not a fixed oscillation it can be 10 5 15 20 oscillation depends on the length of this pendulum because when the length increases the oscillation will be also increase and time will be longer so we can modify the number of oscillations according to the length of this pendulum hope you got this please try this at home with the help of your friends by taking any mass it is not compulsory ball or metal bob any other materials also you can use it with a string with a mobile stopwatch you can measure the time for one complete oscillation of your pendulum please try this at home and learn through your experience thank you bye bye